Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be talking about Kubernetes secret service account, what has changed since Kubernetes 1.24 version um, and how you can create those. So let's get started. So in previous version, when you created service account like kubectl create service account demo, it will also create secret for you. And you can see that secret will be having its own token. Kubectl describe secret and this is the token and when you put this token in JWT uh, you will be able to see that it, it doesn't have any validity or kind of like it's it's uh, for the infinite duration uh, now in Kubernetes 1.24 when you try to do the same thing so this is kubectl get nodes. Um, I have the Venture Desktop 1.24.3 version. kubectl create service account demo. So I have created a service account demo in default namespace. Now kubectl get secrets. You can see I do not have any secret created automatically for that service account. kubectl get service account, but the service account is here and it doesn't have any secrets. So since 1.24, uh, you won't be getting a secret by default created when you create a service account. You can get the secret by kubectl create token and the service account name. So you created a token for your service account. So let's say you have to log in uh, maybe to Kubernetes dashboard or maybe to any, any of the things that requires a token, then you can create a token and you can log in to that particular application. And if you put this in JWT, you can see that it has now an expiry. So it, it like expires in one hour from now. But you can create like a token with a much higher duration, like by providing hyphen hyphen duration is equal to like maybe 100 hours. So if you copy this, you can now see the duration has changed. So it's valid till September 2 because I gave 1000 hours. So that's uh, that's how you can create the token. Now let's try to create a pod and uh, override the service account section with the latest that we have created as demo. Uh, the pod should be running, kubectl get pods. And it is like, yeah, it is running. And when we do kubectl get pod nginx hyphen oyaml, we'll be able to see that the service account is demo. So service service account is demo. And it will be automatically having that token mounted inside. How we can check that is by kubectl describe pod nginx. So you can see if you go above that in the mount section, you already have this particular directory where the token will be mounted. We can actually see that kubectl exec hyphen it in the next at token. So you can see that it already has a token. So your pods are running fine. That should be not a problem. Uh, but if you still do kubectl get service account, it doesn't have any secrets. So even if you like get the YAML of it, get service account, kubectl get service account, demo o YAML. So there is no like secret or something over here. Now, if you manually want to create a secret after you have created a service account, you can do that by having this YAML. So you can create a kind secret and the type as kubernetes.io slash service account token. And in the metadata section, you need to provide the annotation. So annotation will be having kubernetes.io service account dot name. So that will be the annotation that has to be added. So it will be connected to that service account. But you should only do this if you can afford to have a token without an expiry date, because that is not so secure best practices. Uh, so let's create that kubectl create hyphen f secret. Secret is created, kubectl get secret demo. So now you can see like kubectl describe secret and you can see this particular token now when you put this token in jwt you'll see that there is no expiry date so it is same as the 
uh, previous one, like when you created service account, it created a secret without an expiry. So this is what you are trying to create as well. Now let's try to delete the service account. So kubectl delete service account demo. Service account is deleted. Get secret and even the secret. So still, if you create the secret manually, the controllers will automatically kick in. And when you delete the service account, it will automatically delete the uh, secret for you. So the deletion still works. So now, depending on your use case, whatever you have been using in your previous versions, you can decide how you want to generate the tokens by kubectl create token command. Uh, want to set the duration by setting the hyphen hyphen duration flag to that, or you want to manually create the secret by adding the type and the annotation to have it for the unlimited duration of time, uh, which is not a good security best practice. So depending on how you use it, you can still, you know, keep these scenarios in mind. So this is what that has been changed in, in Kubernetes 1.24 version. So thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to thank all the members, uh, Armo, Commodore, Cloudcast, Sysdig, Speedscale, SlimAI, and Teleport. Make sure to check out um, each and every one of them. And they are doing amazing work for the community. So I think uh, they should also, you know, get that support from the community. So they are supporting me. So please kindly visit their websites, link all in the description and make sure to check them out as well. I have videos on almost all of them. Uh, speed scale will be coming soon. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel, share this video as much as you can. Make sure to, you know, uh, follow Cube Simplify workshops. They are amazing. So the Docker and the Kubernetes workshops has already been done. Uh, you can find the recording on my channel and other workshops are in the pipeline so um you know do that i hope you found this video useful see you next time